Pulses are the edible seeds of uh, leguminous plants. Uh, they are quite important uh, for a number of reasons. One is uh, the crop diversification and the associated benefits such as the nitrogen fixation and availability of nutrients from a system. Pulses play a significant role. More importantly, um, the human health, uh, cardiovascular disease, diabetics, dementia, there is clear evidence that uh, consumption of uh, pulses as a whole food uh, improves the health of human beings. And of course, uh, residues and part of the pulses are used for stock feed. Uh, in the past, uh, we have had less attention to pulses because the major emphasis has been on cereal crops such as wheat, maize, and rice. But in a changing climate, the role of uh, legumes in the farming system, pulses in the farming system, is uh, important. The areas which we need uh, focus in the future, one of them is there is a lot of uh, information, whether it is varieties, agronomic practices available, but we haven't really translated that uh, into the uh, farming system, especially for the resource poor farmers. We need comprehensive studies on the role of pulses in the socio-economic aspect of a community, rather than saying that pulses are good. Then we need to address if there is a gap, why the pulses are not adopted, why they are not resilient, and so case studies need to be established in the target specific environments. And we need to upscale uh, some of the technologies uh, already available. The other one is uh, we improve the potential by improving the genetics of the legumes because these are crops which has been neglected apart from soybean for a long time. So we need two approaches. One is uh, looking at the yield gap and why farmers are not adopting a comprehensive socioeconomic analysis. The second aspect is uh, looking at uh, the genetic potential, how can we lift. More importantly, for the general public, we need to educate uh, the role of pulses in human health nutrition, not just the protein alone, the whole consumption. For example, studies done by various medical um, faculties suggest that consumption of about 20 grams of pulses per day in the average diet can significantly improve cardiovascular, diabetic, and dementia. Again, there is no information whether any particular component is important, but the whole consumption of whether it is chickpea, the dry beans, or lentils, etc., is important. So we need to educate the public and, and also the policy makers the value of pulses which can bring to the society's health. I think the International Year of Pulses will help us to sell the message very carefully to the general public, the policy makers, and at the same time then we can draw the attention of the funding bodies and so on, the importance of uh, uh, research and development, not just research alone. How do we translate some of the existing knowledge and, and scale up uh, that process? I think again, uh, you know, some packets, pockets, for example, there has been good adoption. What can we learn from those uh, countries and those areas? And some areas, uh, the adoption hasn't been uh, going well. It's not just simply a matter of uh, improving the production, one need to understand the constraints, what are the socio-economic constraints which inhibit uh, that uh, adoption of the pulses. For example, the market, you know, if farmers grow those pulses, uh, will there be market? In India, for example, India produces about uh, 18 to 19 million tons of uh, pulses annually. And India is importing close to 5 million tons. I was told that uh, uh, the demand is much more than what is imported and hence the price is going up. But we also need to angle the health benefit. The governments are spending enormous amount of money on medical bills, you know, a, a nutritious uh, uh, food coming into, especially to children and uh, lactating mothers, the role of pulses uh, needs uh, more emphasis.